بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقٍ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته <laughs> Welcome back to a new episode. <laughs> I hope everyone is fasting today. I am I'm fasting as well. I am reading Quran. Um, <laughs> we are all doing good deeds. Um, subhanallah. Um, Alhamdulillah. We have come to another day of Ramadan. And let's move on. Let's start with the good deeds first. We always start with the good deeds, don't we? Yes. (laughs) The good deed of the day is go one day without complaining. That goes specially to you, Samiha. Do not complain to your mum or anything, okay? Okay. (laughs) Did you know that the Quran says, I only complain of my suffering and my grief to Allah. Now that we've finished our good deeds, let's go to Hadith time. (laughs) An Umar ibn Abi Salama radiallahu anhu kum tu gulaman في حجر رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وكانت يدي تطيش في الصحفة فقال لي يا غلام سم الله وكل بيمينك وكل مما يليك فما زالت تلك التمتي بعد On the authority of Umar ibn Abi Salama رضي الله عنه it is reported that he said, I was a boy under the care of Allah's Messenger وسلم, and my hand used to go around the dish. So Allah's Messenger وسلم, said to me, Oh boy, mention the name of Allah, eat with your right hand and eat from the dish what is nearest to you. Since then, this has been my manner of eating. Now that we've read the hadith, let's go on to the lessons of the hadith. The first lesson is, we must begin eating by mentioning Allah's name. Number two, we must eat with our right hand. This is your right hand. Can you show your right hand? (laughs) That's your left hand. Your right hand is this. Yeah. Number three, we should eat the food that is in front of us or nearest to us first. Number four. It is preferred to share with others and eat from one communal dish rather than separate plates or dishes. Now let's go to the discussion section. Number one, what is the first thing we should do before eating? Um, um, we should say Allah's name. Yeah, Allah's name. Yeah, we can say Bismillah as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number two. Umar ibn Abi Salama was the Prophet's foster son. True or false? Yeah, what do you think? Do you think he was a foster son or not? Foster son. Yeah, Umar ibn Abi Salama was the Prophet's foster son. Well done. Let me show you where it says it. It says, Umar ibn Abi Salama al-Maghzumi was a young companion of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and foster son. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what happened in number three? Yeah, number three is, what are the correct manners for eating? And num- what is number four? But you have to answer number three first. Oh, okay. What's number three? What do you have to do when eating? What's the manners? Yeah. yeah, we, we should eat the food that we is should in, eat the food which is in front of us or nearest to us first. Yeah. Yeah. The second one is we must eat with our right hand. Yeah, right hand. This is right. Yeah, hand. and remember, before eating, we have to say Bismillah or mention Allah's this name. Left hand or right hand. This is right hand. This is left hand. Yeah. <laughs> and. It is preferred to share with others and eat with them and eat with one dish rather than separate plates, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah. 
Now number four, it is better to eat with your family from one big communal plate rather than individual plates. True or false? Do you think it's true or false? True. Yeah, why do you think it's true? Because it is... Um... Do you think it's better? Yeah. It is preferred to share with others and eat from one communal dish rather than separate plates or dishes. Yeah? Yeah. Now that we finished our hadith, let's go to... Surah. Yeah, we're going to learn surahs now. Now remember yesterday when you said surah al-nas? Yeah. Now you're going to learn surah al-falaq. Say a'udhu billah with me. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Now repeat after me, okay? Qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq. Min sharri ma khalaq. Min sharri ma khalaq. Wa min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab. Wa min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab. Wa min sharri nafathati fil uqad. Wa min sharri nafathati fil uqad. Wa min sharri hasidin idha hasad. Wa. وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدَ Now let's say it again so that you know, okay? قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقَ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقَ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقَ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقَ وَمِنْ شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ 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 قِنْ قِنْ وَمِنْ شَرِّ النَّفَاثَاتِ فِي الْعُقَدِ وَمِنْ شَرِّ النَّفَاثَاتِ فِي الْعُقَدِ وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا هَسَدْ وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا هَسَدْ Okay, now tomorrow you're going to say the whole surah, okay? <laughs> it's okay, you can do it. Now that we've finished our surah time, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow though. Bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.